Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and it looks like Apple has pushed out two major updates today. One for the iPhone devices, as well as uh, MacBooks and laptops and Mac towers. If you've been following along with me, it looks like uh, about two weeks ago, Apple has released Yosemite, which is a new operating system for computers, and a new iOS 8 uh, for iPhone devices. Most likely, you're gonna see the iOS 8 with the new iPhone 6, which they're gonna be introducing pretty soon. But uh, long and behold, it looks like Apple has released iOS 8.0 Beta 2. Uh, I'm gonna install it and download it. Let's uh, accept the terms and conditions. It's about 293 megabytes, which is pretty small for the, uh, you know, for the update. A lot's been changed and fixed with the new beta. It looks like certain apps were crashing on launch constantly if they came over a restore, a backup. So that was one of the problems with beta one. Beta two should fix that. Uh, camera connection, if you, uh, when attached, the camera connector is not offered as an import option. I have a friend at my job that uses his iPhone uh, and he plugs in a like a camera, a, a, an additional accessory for camera. And it, I, I, I kind of have him on the beta version so he could test it out because he's constantly using it all the time. And that was a problem because it looks like the new operating system version eight wasn't accepting it as an, uh, an option. Now family sharing, which is another problem that beta one had, uh, while using iTunes store, you may experience a spinning bore of death and it never completes to load on. I had a huge problem with this. Uh, every time I try to get into the iTunes, when I have family share enabled for the family to test that stuff out, uh, the I, the I store never loaded up completely. Now handoff, handoff, a lot of improvements have been done with beta two with handoff handoff is incompatible between devices using this beta and the prior beta. So you should test the handoff with most recent beta software because it's not a backward compatible with previous beta. So if you guys are testing out hands off in your environment, make sure that all your devices have beta two because it's not, it's not going to, it's not going to work. Now for beta two, it looks like a bunch of, a bunch of stuff has been fixed for hands off. It looks hands off based Bluetooth connections between devices may stop working after trying to use hands off, which is a huge problem with beta one, but in beta two is fixed. Uh, another problem with beta one that beta two fixed, was hand off does not work properly for document based apps. And in some cases, not all devices associated with your Apple ID will pair successfully in beta one. Now in beta two, that was fixed. So I most likely have to test that stuff out for you guys and see if it actually works out. Okay guys. So finally the update was done. It was about 200 and something megabytes. Um, pretty happy that it didn't crap out my phone. Cause normally when you push out an update like that, it normally crashes. Uh, but when you go to settings and you go about, I'm kind of surprised that Apple hasn't done like an 8.1 version. So they kept it as is. I didn't pay attention to the version build number. So if you guys are still running on beta one, did the, you know, did the build number change? If not, let me know at the bottom of the com, you know, the comment section, let me know if that did change. Uh, if you go to software updates, it just basically says that iOS eight is update. Uh, some of the things that have been changed is Safari. Uh, according to release notes, right? When I read the release notes, Safari, uh, will now block ads from automatically redirecting to app stores without user interaction. Another thing that's been added with the new beta two is, uh, the app store app store purchase apps in the app store purchase tab are once again, sorted by purchase date, which is pretty cool. I'm not going to set up the family share now. Uh, but if you purchase stuff, it is going to do it. Uh, it's going to organize it by purchase date, which is pretty cool. I think on the beta one, they didn't do that. So it was really random. Now, one of the things that I kind of found kind of weird that in beta one, the brightness wasn't working properly Yeah, Believe it or not. So let's go back into settings, wallpaper, wallpaper and brightness. Uh, the brightness setting wasn't working. You know, you were able to slide back and forth and the lighting, uh, was not changed at all. If you will, if you disable the auto, uh, the auto, when you close out, it will revert back into turning on. So they kind of changed that on beta two. So on the new message app, the icons for the camera and the microphone and the message are now gray rather than being blue. 
So uh, I don't know. That's that's like a little design, a design kind of update. Uh, so it's not blue in it. I kind of like the blue because they stand out more, but uh, they brought it back into gray. Uh, they also added within settings and you go into the messenger, mess, messages portion of settings. It looks like they added a new raise to listen feature. Uh, this feature would basically allow you to quickly listen and reply to incoming audio message by raising your phone to the air. Pretty cool. Now the privacy section within settings was also updated with the new uh, update beta two. So let's go inside the privacy section privacy. And as you can see, this new version was added home data applications that have requested access to the home data will appear here. So that's a new option. So that's pretty cool. So it looks like Apple's new iCloud photos feature is replacing users existing photo steam settings. So that's pretty interesting. Does that mean every time we take a picture it's going to automatically go into the iCloud? You know, I don't really like that feature <laughs> at all. I, I want to have that power to disable or enable it. So I got to play around with this and see how that works out. It says enable iCloud library. Uh, your photos and videos will be stored in iCloud. My photo stream would be disabled. You can turn iPhoto library off and on. That's why pretty cool. So they do give us the options to turn it off, but by, by default it's turned on. So I'm gonna press okay just for testing wise and see how that works out. Uh, and that's it guys. Those are kind of the new things with, oh, what is this? This is crazy. So this is new. Uh, as you saw, oh, wait a minute. I think that flashing thing was basically, I'm assuming it was syncing up to the cloud, but I'm clicking and I don't see none of my photos. So I already found a bug. I already found a bug on the new beta too, guys. Look at that first bug. Uh, if you guys find any other bugs, leave the bugs at the bottom. Let me know what you guys have noticed with the new beta too. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.